Friends, I'm going to read you a poem, and it couldn't be more timely than this. It's by Deborah Garrison, and it's in the latest New Yorker, and it's good. Sometimes New Yorker poems are, you know, hit or miss. It's called After Sex, Checking for Instagram Posts by My Kids and Other Avoidance Strategies. I lay awake reviewing the math. Trump had said there were just 15 cases in the country. There were 64 then, but only for an hour or two. I was wondering about the numbers we can't know. At this moment, there's a secret true number of people actually carrying coronavirus, the same way there is a number of living blades of grass on Earth right now. We understand we can't count them, but we agree there exists an exact quantity, counted or not. Scientists of plains and meadows, of our city greens and suburban lawns, of our mowing and grazing patterns could model a fair estimate, I believe. Sex is one way to count sheep, and when I rose from bed, I asked you, what will happen to funerals and rituals for burying the dead if there's really a pandemic and people can't gather in numbers? You were drifting off. I remembered how I'd lie awake when we were trying to have children and freeze myself in a pelvic scoop or with legs in the air like a flipped insect for long minutes after the fact and not get up all night so none of the seeds would fall out, as if to let leak by even a jot would lower the odds, though I knew in each teaspoon 20 to 40 million might press their luck. Back then, as I noted, that trying to make new life was comical and hatched new strains of insomnia. I reasoned into the darkness that respectfully, not jostling them all, might yield me the one. 